boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. Let's start our lesson. Dear students, the topic of our lesson is teens and electronic media. In today's lesson, we will present and discuss teen media use, listen and read for specific information, and read for detail. First of all, let's revise the previous lesson. Dear students, do you remember the words and phrases from the previous lesson? I hope you do. Try to match them with their translations. It's checking time. Pear shaped, grushevidna forma, string, struna, sinew, zhilka, a company, a company. Band, группа, made from, изготовлен из, brass, латунь, tube, труба, mouthpiece, мундштук, бега, нищи. Excellent! Let's move on. Dear students, now look at the screen, please. Which of the types of media below do you use every day magazines newspapers the internet tv radio or mobile media devices look at the example i use the internet every day or i watch tv i rarely read a newspaper now it's your turn Let's look at suggested answer key. I always listen to the radio in the morning. In the evenings, I sometimes read a newspaper or a magazine. So, it's time to learn new words and phrases. Be ready with your pens and papers. Дорогие ребята, а сейчас мы с вами ознакомимся с новыми словами. Повторяйте за мной, пожалуйста. Research to – исследовательский инструмент. Drop – бросать. Purpose – цель. Abuse – злоупотребление. Valuable – ценный. Network – сеть. Benefit – выгода. Let's do tasks with our new words and phrases. Fill in with took, push, research, dropped, limit, and waste. Take your time, please. If you are ready, let's check together. The first. Electronic media are useful research tools. The second, the room temperature dropped and we are cold. The third, nowadays you can get all the information you need with the push of a button. The fourth, you need to set a time limit when playing video games. The fifth, he took a break before he continued studying. The six, don't waste your time playing computer games. Excellent job! Dear students, now listen and read to find out what problems can electronic media cause. Teens and electronic media, a dangerous combination.
Electronic media can be very useful research tools for students, giving them all the information they need at the push of a button. However, they can cause a student's grades to drop. Spending many hours in front of a screen for entertainment purposes means that you spend less time studying and doing your schoolwork. Another serious problem of electronic media abuse is a social one. Since you spend so much time watching TV, surfing the net, reading magazines, or playing computer games, you are wasting valuable time you can spend with your friends and family. Electronic media are a great way to keep in touch with friends and family who live far away. Still, they cannot replace the benefits of communicating with people in the real world. Now, suggested answer key. What problems can electronic media cause? Electronic media can cause a number of problems. Students can spend hours playing games or looking at social media sites, and so they neglect their studies. They can also miss out on valuable time with family and friends. You are right. Excellent. Now, dear students, you should follow the second part of listening and read. Here you can see tips on using electronic media safely. Listen to carefully, please. Tips on using electronic media safely. 1. Set a time limit. Give yourself about 1 to 2 hours a day to use any type of electronic media you want for entertainment. 2. Never do your homework or study while you're using electronic media. 3. Don't use electronic media in your bedroom. Keep all sources in the living room and out of your bedroom. 4. Take a break to stretch out your muscles after an hour of sitting. Also, after your time is up, do some kind of activity that will exercise your body and your mind. 5. Remember that not everything you read on the internet is true. People are not always who they say they are, and teens often make bad decisions about the things they share. Think carefully before you type or post. You can't take it back, and it can cause a lot of harm. Now, try to answer least two examples of problems caused by electronic media. What does the writer advise teen to do? If you are ready, it's checking time. The text mentions physical problems like overeating and sitting without stretching muscles. It also mentions that teens' school grades may drop. The writer advises teens to exercise and keep devices out of the bedroom. He also advises teens to set a limit of an hour or two every day for using any type of electronic media. Teens should also think carefully about what they write online. So, let's move on. Dear students, now pay your attention, please. Study skills, self-assessment. After you read, think about how difficult the text was for you. Think about unknown words, style, use of English structures, information it includes. Now, look at possible answer. I found the text easy to follow. Some of the vocabulary, entertainment purposes, abuse was unknown. There were no unknown grammar structures, and the information given was easy to follow. The writer used a clear layout, so I was able to follow the text. You can give your own answer if you like. Now, let's do another task. Match the words to make phrases. You have some time.
Check yourself, please. The first string instrument, the second ancient times, the third made from, the fourth long neck, and the last one style of music. You are right, you are super. Now, dear students, let's answer the question. What is the right of opinion on teens using electronic media? How can the information in the text help you? So let's look at the answer. The writer believes that it is not harmful for teens to use electronic media for a certain amount of time. But many teens spend too much time on their devices. The writer thinks teens should be active physically and socially and be careful with how they use the Internet. So, dear students, let's conclude our lesson. Today, we've presented and discussed teen media use, listened and read for specific information and read for detail. Dear boys and girls, our lesson is over. See you next time. Good luck!